Here. Here. Tyler Perry's Meet the Browns. See the new season premiere Wednesday, May 27th, only on TBS. Very funny. This is time you have to get movement, guys. You have to move the ball and swing it. Change sides of the... You don't stay on the same side here. Move the ball from one side to the other. Just keep that message in your head. And Bill Jackson wants to ball, more ball movement because if you get more ball movement, you get Kobe Bryant, Lamar Odom, and Paul Gasol involved, and you have more avenues to cut to the lane to the basket. A 16-2 run by the Jazz to move with him six. After trailing by 22, Darren Williams back on the floor. Ronnie Price remains. And here is O'Cour coming up short for the wall. Goes in the hands of Price. Gets it out to Williams with the new clock. And not allowing Corver any room. That clock is down to 10. Out of five. With Price. Well, the Jazz felt there was contact. There's got to be contact some kind of way, either with the offensive foul or the foul on Derek Fisher. Too much contact there right in front of the official. Since Ronnie Price came on, the Jazz outscoring the Lakers 30 to 15. Price, the four year man out of Utah Valley. Brian Hillsap is on it. It's a three on one. Price. Williams not able to convert. Rebounded by Ariza. And that's Darren Williams being stiff for being over on the bench. Ronnie Price did the right thing here, giving the ball up to Darren Williams. But he hasn't been on the floor in almost 20 to 25 minutes. And look at the drive here by Ronnie Price. And you tell me. There's contact. It's either an offensive foul on Ronnie Price or a blocking on Derek Fisher. And a foul on Price to put Ariza at the line. He's one of two, making one of three. Utah going over the limit on that foul by Price. Jerry Sloan has his offensive unit on the team, on the floor with Darren Williams and Ronnie Price in the backcourt. Kyle Porter and O'Kerr to stretch the floor. Millsap down low. Ronnie Price, a player having just four points a game during the regular season. A good start on occasion when Darren Williams was out, but he can, he can put points up. Shot clock, down to five, O'Kerr. Oh, what a, what a play by Millsap, taking it out of the hands of Gasol. The pass to Price, but it could not convert. And the Jazz again looking for a foul. Instead, it goes the other way, Odom with the pocket, and he is fouled. That's a four-point turnaround play for the Lakers. Jazz with so many opportunities at the basket. A curve misses. You get the offensive rebound by Millsap. A cutting Ronnie Price down the lane. He can't convert. Powell locked it up to Jared Fisher for the finish. But who else has been it all night? Lamar Odom. Odom is 4 of 4 at the line. He was fouled by Corver. Another Laker miss at the line. 88 89. The Lakers on top with a minute 25 left in the fourth. Millsap to the bucket. Another missed opportunity, but again, Price is on it. His shot blocked by Odom. And then Price took it away. Price diving for it. Williams try to save it as the ball is deflected out of bounds. You know what? I'm going to give Jerry Sloan and more importantly, Ronnie Price at the start of this fourth quarter. You got to give them a lot of credit as Jerry Sloan is upset, picked up a technical foul. He was very upset about a number of non-calls. And, uh, oh, he is. And you know what? I, I kind of believe him a little bit, too, because the Jazz took the ball, what you said, put their head down, went to the basket, a lot of contact on a lot of plays. I'm not saying everyone was a foul, but the Jazz, this, this is... Ronnie Price is putting his head down. Look at Millsap goes in. Now, this is a wide-open layup that just missed. And Ronnie Price does a good job of 